wife. गुड इवनिंग एंड अ वेरी वॉम वेलकम टू द ब्लैक होल आज की गुफ्तु का उनवान आप मेरी पुष्ट पे बोर्ड पे लिखा हुआ देख सकते हैं डिजिटल डिस्ट्रक्शन द सिस्टमिक हार्म ऑफ सोशल मीडिया सो टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस दी अनसीन रिस्क लर्किंग बिहाइंड आर स्क्रीनस एंड डिस्कवर हाउ कंज्यूमिंग सोशल मीडिया इज अफेक्टिंग आर मेंटल हेल्थ रिलेशनशिप्स एंड सोसाइटी एट लार्ज मोर ओवर वी विल लर्न वट वी कैन डू टू मिटिगेट इट्स हार्मफुल अफेक्ट्स और इस मौजू पर गुफ्तु के लिए हमारे साथ अल्तमश खान आतिश हैं जो मेरे दाएँ जानब तशरीफ़ फरमा है ही इज़ अ सीजन गेम डिज़ाइनर विद एक्सटेंसिव एक्सपीरियंस हैविंग सर्व एज द फॉर्मर लीड गेम डिज़ाइनर एट द गेम स्टॉम स्टूडियोज एंड एप्सोलॉजिक्स थ्रू आउट हिज कैरियर ही हैज़ वर्क ऑन ओवर वन हंड्रेड एप्स फॉर एंड्रॉयड आई ओ एस एंड पी सी इन एडिशन टू हिज एक्सपर्टीज इन गेम डिज़ाइन Altmush Khan is a passionate philosophy enthusiast with a particular interest in ancient philosophies khas taur pe stoicism lekin aaj ki guftugu se aur aaj ki guftugu ke unwan se aap andaaza lagayenge ke mehz dore qadeem ki philosophies ya un nazariyat par hi aapki dastras nahi hai balki aap asr e hazir ke masail uske upar bhi nazar rakhte hain aur ek uske harmful effects aur unke hal ki taraf bhi apni ek raay rakhte hain आप सब लोगों की आमद का शुक्रिया ख़ास तौर पर इसलिए भी कि एक का दिन रह गया ईद में तो आप लोगों का इतनी इतने गर्म मौसम में तशरीफ़ लाना इट मीन्स अ लॉट प्लीज़ डू अस अ फेवर इन टर्न जो सेल फोन्स टू साइलेंट मोड सो दैट देर इज़ नो डिस्ट्रेक्शन मोर ओवर सिंस दिस इज गोइंग टू बी गोइंग टू बी एन इंट्रेक्टिव सेशन आप लोग ज़रूर इसमें शरीक होइएगा जस्ट रेज योर हैंड ताकि आपको जो माइक्रोफोन दे दिया जाए और आपकी आवाज़ जो है वो ऑनलाइन ऑडियंस तक भी वाज तौर पर पहुँच सके बस यही थी दो तीन बातें नाउ लेडीज एंड जेंटलमैन प्लीज वेलकम अल्तमश खान आतिश थैंक यू थैंक यू फॉर इंट्रोड्यूसिंग मी ओके सो बिफोर वी टॉक अबाउट सोशल मीडिया लेट्स फर्स्ट स्पीक अबाउट द इंटरनेट बट बिफोर दैट आई लाइक टू नो हाउ मेनी ऑफ यू हैव ए सोशल मीडिया अकाउंट raise your hands okay so there's nobody offline how many of you use social media for business raise your hands okay and how much will your life be affected if i tell you stop using social media today hmm yeah uh How many of you raise your hands? How many will be affected if social media was to die today? How many of you will be affected? OMG. Right. So before we go and take a look at social media and how it absolutely can destroy your life, let's take a look at the age of the internet, the scary scary age of the internet. Keyword here is net. What does that mean? the age of the internet it helps information travel faster from point a to point b from point a to point b from point b to point c from point a to xyz the problem is that most of you do not know this but if information travels from point a to point b what if i told you it can also go from point b to point a most people that use social media don't know this they do not know that every time they use social media a small amount of their information is being collected and that is being used for by the companies by the social media companies for a particular purpose what their purpose is is not defined but what we can say is that every time you use social media you are giving away some amount of information which can positively affect you or negatively affect you how many of you raise your hands are trained to use the internet trained to so training comes yeah like so training no uh, raise your hands how many of you are trained to use the internet how many of you are trained to use social media no oh, just one so tell me if you're not trained to use something what happens if you don't receive training for it what happens you do not know how that thing works 
what its purpose is, and what it's designed for. The age of the internet, it helped information reach faster, but it also helped information reach a wider audience, more people. Information reaches faster, it reaches more people. And people have the option to choose the type of information that they wish to receive. When you go on Google, you type exactly what you want, and you get that information. But what does Google do? Now it knows what you search for. Now it knows what your interests are. And it knows you sometimes more than you know yourself. Imagine that. Imagine people around you, they know exactly what makes you tick. What can make you stop? What can make you go? Now imagine a group of companies all around the world who will use that information to sell you an item, use manipulation, use all the tactics just to sell you a product. Since information is gathered about you, I can tell you one thing for sure. If I, right now, ask any of you, give me your mobile phone, I want to search what's on it. How many of you will allow it? Raise your hands. Just two? So, most people when they say, we do not care, well, I just proved that you do. Most people say that they do not care about their privacy, you do. And most people do not know when they download any social media application, it has full access to your gallery. What they do with that information, what they do with your gallery is not really in your hands. So basically, you have refused to give in that phone to me to search through it, but you have allowed this company, and God knows how many psychopaths they are, they can use your data. So, social media. In order to socialize, what do you have to do? You first have to be at a location. Can you socialize without being at a location? Is it possible? It isn't, right? So the internet, net, point A, point B, point C. And on the internet, you've got locations. A social media is a location on the internet, let's suppose. And most of us are not taught general self-defense, general self-defense in all forms of life. We are not uh, told, uh, told how we are supposed to do that. We are not told how you're supposed to, and schools do not teach us how to interact with people, how you're supposed to conduct a conversation. Schools don't even teach us, uh, teach us how you're supposed to buy groceries, although that is something that we should learn. And what, how you can be harmed while buying groceries. Most of us, when we buy vegetables, we are going to check each and every vegetable that, we are, that the person is putting in. But when we are buying groceries, when the last process where the person picks up the package and puts it in, your, in, in the shopping bag, we don't check the packaging. What if it breaks at that time? These small, minor, minor things people do not really notice. And uh, basically what I'm saying is, is that you can be harmed at any time, at any point in life, and people are not really trained to keep their guard up all the time. And on the internet, when your guard is down, that's what these big corporations are looking for. They want to take your information and use it against you when you least expect it, and they are smarter than you. These are companies that are, that are, that are owned by billionaires, owned by corporations who are working day and night trying to sell just one product. And sometimes that product is not even a digital product. Sometimes it's not even physical. Sometimes the product is as simple as motivation. Sometimes that product is as simple as sending an idea. And using that idea, they can cause you to do things. Sometimes the things that you don't even know why you're doing. So the purpose of social media essentially what they, what they said it years ago was to make socialization easy. Now, most of you, well, not most of you, but I hope that some of you have played a video game in your life. There's always an easy mode. The easy mode, social media is basically the easy mode of socialization. And it was designed for people that suffered from severe social anxiety or found it difficult to socialize in a general setting. That was the original purpose. It was to connect people and for interaction between people. But the problem is, most social media companies will not tell you that during that interaction, they collect information about you, and then they can sell it or they can process it themselves. 
Now, what do I mean by processing? Remember that at one time, if you needed to gather information about somebody, you needed, you needed to train a person to specifically try to get information from you using different techniques. Now, you give that information yourself. You tell the social media companies exactly what you want, what your interests are, and guess what? That information can be used to process used to process various things, and during that process, we have got very powerful computers that can run algorithms, which will tell them exactly at what time, at what place you will be vulnerable, where you will basically be desperate to purchase something to make life less miserable. But I just said miserable, what does that mean? In order to sell a product, you first have to create demand for it. Sometimes there is already a demand for it, but most of the time demand is created. In fact, most of the time, as a game designer, the clients that contact me are not even interested in making a high quality game. They're interested in how the player interacts with the game and at what time we can place an advertisement or a digital product to sell it. And I can tell you from my personal experience that analytics help us tell exactly at what point this player is most vulnerable to purchase something. And in games, we create problems and sell the solutions. Essentially, people are buying the game from us and we are creating more problems for them and then selling it. And investors and clients are only interested in that. I can tell that from experience. So what, help, uh, what stops social media companies from doing that? So social media also makes it easy to access and easy to deny access. In a, social, uh, in, a, in a social setting, you can't just put a block button, uh, you can't just push a block button and the other person disappears. I mean, if, if, it, if it, that was the case, life would be easy, right? You'd only interact with the people that you wish to interact with. There's, there's no block button in real life. So in social media, they created the block button, which means you only give access to people that you want to give access to. But the problem is it also creates this false illusion that that's how real life works, whereas it doesn't. And what happens when you find an easy mode? You always want to play that easy mode. You want to give your life away to that easy mode. And once you are too used to easy mode, guess what happens when you have to play the hard mode? So social media was a collective term for websites and applications. People can communicate. People can give community-based input. They can interact. They can content share. And they can collaborate. What does all of these things do? What does all of these social interactions do? Tell the companies exactly how you behave in different settings. In different settings, they know how you will behave. And if I know how you will behave, I can make you do things, things that you don't want, things that you don't want to do. And things, I can make your life miserable and then sell you the solution. I can make your life easy and present a challenge to you. I can do all of these things. The problem with social media is also that it makes access too easy. Sometimes connecting with people that are supposed to or paid to interact with you, interact with you, get information from you using the traditional methods which people used before social media, which was to gain access to information, secret information, or things that you probably want to keep to yourself but we can identify them. Okay, so now we're going to move on to something that I would like to talk about, which is before social media, we have to take a look at the current society, and that is achievement society. We are living in an achievement society. Before that, we were living in a disciplinary society where there were rules and regulations. You see, Currencies is not just money. A currency in social media is likes, shares, comments. And the products can be motivation, empathy, sympathy, love, all of these things. Social media treats them as a currency, things that can be sold. In a disciplinary society, external control was a thing that was causing you to do things. And it was not a can mentality over there. It was a should mentality. 
at, uh, during those times. You should do this, you should do this, you should do that. In an achievement society, it is you can do this and you can do that. And do you know what is the problem with can do? You can do an unlimited number of things. There is no limit. And sometimes you're given the illusion that you can do things when you go on social media and there are these people that are training day and night to tell you that you can do this, you can do that. And yet, they know it themselves that they are not really saying that you can do this. They're like, you should do this so we can help you and you know, make money from you. When you say you can do this, you're like, that's what you believe. But what if I tell you you can do this? There's a difference. If I say I can do this, so can you. Does that make sense? How can I say that when I don't know what you are, what your personality type is? These are all manipulation tactics. And in a disciplinary society, the advantage of that was that external things were controlling your life. Now you mostly have control over your life, but people that are, are overlords or corporate overlords, they still want to keep us in check. And there is, there is definitely proof for that. You can see that uh, elections are sometimes fought on social media, literally. Do you know the result of elections before, before uh, even the elections take place because social media can help us drive a narrative? There are many things that social media can do, but one of the main things that social media does it, it can sell an idea. It can sell a perspective better than anything else. And you know, you can identify the people that agree with that idea. That is the most important thing. Before that idea is implemented, you can actually check whether it's going to fail or not. So guess what happens? Businessmen and business people, they don't really care whether the idea is good for you. They just want to sell an idea. And using social media, they can tell exactly how much this idea will sell and how much money they will make. And if that idea is useful for you but it's not selling, they'll drop it. They will absolutely drop that idea. And they'll come up with another idea. One that suits them probably doesn't suit you. So I already taught, spoke, spoke about the social media currencies. Now why do I say likes, comments, and shares are social media currencies? Simply because they're quantifiable. They're quantifiable. And you get the false illusion of making progress. A false illusion of making progress. What is a false illusion? What is this? You see, illusions are basically false, they're illusions. But materialism is promoted a lot on social media. How is that so? Materialism, if you do not know, if you haven't studied philosophy, materialism is the philosophy where you choose quantity over quality. And the idea is to attain happiness in materialism. Instead of buying one good pair of shoes, you buy 10. The idea is that you're going to, uh, you'll stay happy if you have to choose a different shoe every single day. Social media promotes materialism, whereas your happiness depends on the quantity that you achieve that day. Does that make sense? How, if likes, if you're getting more likes, what is it doing for you in the long run? But what does it do for the social media company? Don't they, they know you're going to come back for more likes, more shares, more comments. Because that is a currency that is being sold to you and you want more of it. You want more. You want that feeling that you're being liked. People like your content. People want to, want, are waiting for you. Your, your, your first reaction when you get a huge number of likes, it, likes is, I want this again. So that is how social media uses its currencies. It promotes materialism, and it also, because we, most of us know that we are suffering from burnout these days, social media is basically pushing the narrative that you should improve yourself and you should excel in life without actually having a system where they can take a look at your personality and choose what is best for you based on your personality. They tell you what's best for you. Big cars, big mansions. What if you can't achieve that? What if th this is not what you're designed for?
So in a society where we had, we, 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 where we were behaving because there was a threat of being punished and there was a threat that if we don't obey, we will basically, we have to behave a certain way unless we obey. This was the disciplinary society, but in an achievement-based society, we are basically living with the feeling that we can do this and your social, your place in the social hierarchy is determined these days by your achievements and what you have done. Whereas previously it was how good of a person you were according to the governments of those times, according to the nations of those times. Right now, we are supposedly living in a liberated and sparkling society, supposedly. But the truth is, they're still controlling you without you knowing them, without you knowing about it. If you are on social media one day, do you, how many of you feel you want to be social media the very next day? How many of you feel that you wish to be? Just raise your hands. How many of you, if you're social, on social media one day, you want to be on social, on social media the next day? Like how many of you want to use social media every day and if you, if you do not use social media, you feel empty? Every moment, right? So, if a person that is using social media every day, honestly living in a liberated society, liberation is freedom. And if you're in a, this box where social media is controlling your life by giving you content that you're addicted to, well, you've just become a addic uh, an addict to content. Just like people were at one time on when television was a thing. People were addicted to that, but only for a while since there wasn't much content available. So the unlimited can problem is this. You're given the illusion that you have unlimited freedom and opportunity, which makes no sense. What if you are limited by your, by your, by your talents? And that is true. M most people in the world will not tell you this, which I'm going to tell you, and this is something that motivational speakers never say, I'm sorry, but most of us will not make it. We just live average lives and die. That's the truth. The unlimited can problem is whenever you're on social media, there's always somebody better than you in your face telling you that I've achieved this. And you feel like you're behind. And then the anxiety kicks in. Then you take a look at different products the products that will help you get there. And the cycle begins. And what happens when you're anxious? When you want to be like them? You start spending money. Or you start spending time. How many of you believe time is important? Raise your hands. Okay. We can agree. Can we agree that time is a currency? Yeah. So if you spend time on social media trying to be like someone else, does that make sense? What if that person has a different journey, different characteristics, different attributes? What will happen? It is true, though, that the age of the Internet has improved our life in general. We have got more business opportunities, more way to reach a wider audience. This is something that only our ancestors could only dream of. That's the positive side of social media, that you can use it for business. You can use it to spread an idea. And if you are a charitable person, you can use it to help other people. And of course, if you're offering a solution, you can sell that solution and you can reach a wider audience. You can actually see who needs that solution and present, them to, uh, present it to them. You also don't waste other people's time. Like if you're, you have, you're running Google ads, let's say, then the thing is that people who are interested in your product will only see your ads. So you're not wasting other people's time which is something that uh, is actually good about social media and about ads in general. The problem with the unlimited can that I was speaking about was also keeping up with other people. So on social media, the thing is that people are kind of, uh, whenever they achieve something, whenever your friends achieve something, they're going to post it on social media. Some of them, I'm not saying all of them. My friends don't, but I know people that do. And now... 
you have just entered into a competition with your friend. And many people do this. They see somebody go to a restaurant, take pictures. You'll be at a restaurant taking pictures. So we are finding our friends here now. Let's speak about the journey problem. Everybody's journey is different on social media. Everybody comes from different backgrounds, races, education. If somebody has 10 Ferraris, a big mansion, you don't know about their journey. Probably they had some opportunity that will never come your way. You'll never get that opportunity. Since they are not going to tell you the truth, you just compare yourself to these people that you see on social media that you know nothing about. And then you forget about your own journey. You take interest in the journey of another person. And when you when you're not interested in your journey anymore, you lose sight of the purpose that was probably meant for you or the one that you selected. Because somebody else is telling you that, hey, I achieved this, so can you. You also become a prisoner of another person's marketing. You become a, prison, or you become a prisoner of their ideas and their lifestyle. Lifestyle is a key word here. You want that lifestyle because they have that lifestyle. So essentially, social media sometimes makes us prisoners. It makes us prisoners. We wish to be like other people. We take interest in their journey, not ours. And we forget our purpose. And if, if you're interested in somebody else's journey, guess what they can do? They can make you behave a certain way because they're like, I did this, you should do this too. But I'll only tell this to you if you buy my $2,000 course. You'll get all of these Ferraris if you buy my $1,000 course. Now you're desperate. Uh, electricity prices are up by 20%, which is actually, I've heard that that is actually true. You're desperate, you need money. Nobody likes you, and uh, yeah, and you see these people, everybody likes them, although this is a story that John Peterson once, uh, once told, that there was, in his clinical practice, he saw people that were in the middle class and they were enjoying their lives, and then he, he also treated people, had Ferraris and mansions, and every single day they woke up, they wanted to sit in their Ferrari and ram that Ferrari right into a tree and die. They have their, their problems, you have your problems. And on social media, the problem is that uh, we take a look at the, this glorious lifestyle that other people have, whereas we do not know what pain or what, what kind of uh, troubles they might be going through because nobody speaks about it. When was the last time you saw somebody on social media, except for a few, I'm not saying uh, many do. Some people do t talk about their problems, but you've never seen on social media people saying, just live an average and peaceful life, man. Take it easy. You'll die in 40, 50 years anyway. Who Gives, who gives a crap? Nobody says that. But it is true that most of us will not make it, unfortunately. Some, some make it even before they're born because their parents are rich. Like, that's true. However, the illusion of altruism is sold in, in, in basically in, 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 in social media. So altruism, the philosophy of being nice for the sake of being nice. Everybody sells this on social media but they're not really altruistic if they're trying to sell a product to you. And they've designed their entire business model around getting information about you, looking at your behavior and selling the product to you, which you probably don't even require. If you, if, if you, if you have broken up with somebody, you search on Google how to get over a breakup and suddenly you get these courses on Facebook and on others that I am, hey, I am a clinical psychologist. I can help you overcome, you know? And probably you don't even need it. Probably don't, probably don't. But as soon as you put that information in, you're going to get those ads and those, and those things. And how you're supposed to love a person, or maybe you're not doing this correctly, you're not doing that correctly, and that's the reason why you're not successful. But in other words, basically, social media, another thing that it does is it sells misery. It sells pain and it feeds on it. How does it do it? We all know 
that the tr- two most extreme emotions that can upset the balance of another person are love and hate. People do stupid things when they love somebody, especially, and people do stupid things when they hate somebody. And social media, usually if you take a look at all of the YouTube videos and all of the things on social media, most of the likes that things are getting are relatable, but most of the things that are relatable are also dark and also aren't really very positive. If you take a look at memes, most of them are dark. If you take a look at uh, videos, most of them are dark. Most of them are talking about stuff which would make you feel a little more miserable than you are already. And that is a problem. So what happens when you have uh, when you have a society which is basically which basically sees all of these people in the world doing better than them? You come up well not you you didn't come up with but the government comes up with the MAID the MAID program which is very popular in Canada. Guess what? Due to social media people are lining up to die. That is our society these days. In Canada, there is a MAID program, which is basically medically assisted induced death, I believe, where people can actually sign up to die because they don't they feel so miserable, driven by social media. And now the MAID program is being promoted that, hey, you're depressed, let us kill you. That is true. That is actually a serious thing on social media and it is being marketed as a business. Imagine that. Now there are people miserable just broke just broke up with somebody probably are going to find more people in uh, more people in the world nice people and they choose to die and it's pretty easy you go to a doctor can canada they are actually promoting this because me- medicine is expensive there doctors are like okay so you're suffering this you're suffering this problem how about did you ever consider dying like literally they say that these days have you considered that so in a society where you have you're already you already feel miserable when you see people doing better than you and that thing appearing on social media over and over again you get one step closer to that thing which is called spiritual death if not physical then spiritual death your spirit dies first and because of your will to live like Arthur Schopenhauer spoke about the will to live which is basically a problem that he believes the will to live will kind of keep you going it would try to keep you alive in order to be alive you also need to be happy and how can you be happy if every single day you're in this prison where people are just telling you that hey we did this hey we did that and you're far behind us hey you should do this you should do that and i'm going to help you get there but i need $5000 from you oh you broke up Oh, no worries, just pay us $200. We're just going to fix you up straight away. Or how about this thing? Now we have access to your gallery. Now we know exactly the places that you visit. Hey, this, there's a deal. This, place, this man goes over there. How about we give him a de- deal? Although he has got extremely good food cooked at his home today and his wife really cooked him great food. But yeah, 50% off. Let's go there, wife. But I cooked food. No, no, no. You, you, let's go. You know, things like that. That is how social media systematically destroys your life. First of all, we're not trained. Number one, we're not trained for social media. Number two, we give our data away. Number three, social media is designed by people smarter than you to process the data that they receive from you. Number four, these social media companies have multiple products to sell to you. It can be an idea, it can be a currency, it can be a course, it can be advice, it can be information, it can be knowledge. Sometimes you do not need it. Number five, problems are created in your life which are not even problems. You believe there are problems, but they're not. If you're living a peaceful life, you are doing well, you're making life work, continue that path. Your journey is different. The people that have got 10 Ferraris, their journeys are different. Yours is different. Unfortunately, most of us will not make it to the top. It's impossible. Most of us will not. It doesn't matter. Take it easy. The people around you matter. The people that love you matter. And the people who will learn from you, they matter. The people that idolize you, they are the ones that matter. And since we are all human beings, our job is to make this world a less miserable place for the coming generations. And we cannot do it through social media because social media is run by 
corporations that see you as a number and see you as a product. When the product, uh, when the product is free, then you are the product. Remember that. And that's all I have to say. Let's make the world a better place and uh, work for each other and reduce the misery that is already present. Thank you very much. Q&A session. Thank you, Atish, for a nice talk. Uh, okay. I want to ask that how we can control this uh, destruction of social media and its negative effects on all of us, whether we should just quit it or there are other ways how we can control its bad effects on us or on society. Okay, so what we have to do is we have to uh, take a look at how many people value our advice. That's, that's step number one. We gather everybody that we know will listen to us and we train them for temperance they should always be balanced and this is what i speak about in my stoicism talks as well they should be balanced they should not be in an excited state at any point in their life it's a constant you know constant process you have to train them so that they do not become excited even if something goes wrong they should not be excited even if something goes uh, if something turns out very well for them, they don't get excited. As long as they're balanced, they should be able to balance their usage of social media and not be influenced by it because social media is looking at the, at the time at which you're most vulnerable to present a solution to you that you do not really require. So the problem, another, th another problem with social media is that it gives you content that will keep you on it for a long time and it knows which content you like. Let's say, for example, you like cats. You're a cat owner you're going to receive videos of cute cats and you'll be on it and you'll, you'll lose focus on your true purpose, which might be to, let's say, uh, watch a Udemy course or something which is more meaningful, which will help you progress socially, which is pragmatism. If, you're, if you consider yourself a pragmatic person, you'll always reject ideas which are going to stop you from progressing socially. So in other words, if a person is temperate, they will, be, they will be able to think better and they will be able to tell exactly what they require, at what time they require, and reject solutions that do not provide a, uh, reject solutions that do not, uh, do not solve their problem truly. Out of this emotions, that is so natural with all of us. Uh, being temperate, you have to train being temperate. This is something that even martial artists like in, in martial arts they also teach you how to control your emotions and be, and be temperate. There are various techniques, there are various philosophies. Uh, I practice stoicism and uh, I am also a pessimist but uh, it's, it's, uh, you have to basically train yourself to be balanced. It's, it's, it can take years sometimes. Okay, you also talked about tra uh, trained how to use social media. Yeah. So what are few points related to that? So if you have a business and if you think that, uh, so, uh, if you think that a, a certain group of people require the solution, let's say uh, you, uh, you are somebody who helps startups, you can take a look at who's interested in starting a startup and just talk to them and find them on social media and communicate with them and hopefully it will be like a beneficial transaction for both parties. All right, thank you. So thank you for a grateful evening. Actually, social media collect data from social platform different. Same ads run karta hai. Ab ki yehi ki wohi data collect karke isko need kya hai. Lekin sometimes abhi jo recently show up hiya ho raha hai ki chat GPT ke aane ke baad jo ab soch rahe hote sometimes thinking wohi ad yehi ki aapne discuss bhi kisi se nahi kiye share bhi nahi kiye. Lekin wohi platform pe wohi different ad show kar raha hota hai. Iski kya reason hai? Ek conspiracy theory hai. Iske upar ek conspiracy theory hi nahi hai. Ye ek wo bhi hai. It's like it was patented that somehow now this is a conspiracy theory. I'm just first of all I'm going to talk about conspiracy theories. And, and then I'm going to talk about how I believe it works. So conspiracy theories, basically, the conspiracy theory is that somehow these people can have access to our brains. I do not know how it works, but this is basically a patent. 
there was a patent and some ordinary gamers on YouTube covered this, that there is this patent about uh, they can somehow extract information from you just by uh, look, looking through your camera or they can extract your brainwave, something like that. That is a conspiracy theory. The truth is, uh, the, uh, uh, scientifically, computers can process data. They can kind of guess what you're looking for. They can kind of guess that at this time, you are this age, probably you would like these things. It's, it's a very good guess. So for everything that you think about, you only see three or four ads. But what about the million other things you think about which you do not see ads, ads, ads about? So people, basically what happens is that you might be thinking about, let's say, a thousand things at the same time. The reason why we note the ads that are... Uh, that that appear in front of us and we're like we were thinking about this how did it come in front of us is because it's kind of an, an anomaly you can say it's kind of like strange that I was thinking about this and it, and it appeared but what about the 997 things that you were thinking about which did not appear you know so it's it's that All right. Um, thanks. It was a really good talk. I just wanted to add a couple more points here. Um, see, I think a lot of people we focus when a, lo a lot on products. You know, then people think it may it may be a car, it may be cosmetic or whatever it is. But uh, it could be. It's not that innocuous in many cases. Also, because these are platforms, then you can use all sorts of advertising. For example, you may have certain nonprofit or NGO uh, promoting certain thing, and it may not be a legit. NGO. So to distinguish between what's legit, what's not, is really difficult. And also in terms of the like election cycle, which obviously has been a big issue in, in certain places, um, you know, who promotes what, um, what kind of things that po politically it's used. It's used for trading, like if you look into, um, because it's cumulative, right? They look through all your activity. Do you think, okay, I may just go on Google or wherever, Facebook, and search something. Wh how bad could it be? Like at the end of the day, you just think, you know, it's fine. I know they're tracking it, but how bad it could be actually be? But because um, it's cumulative and it's, uh, it's you know, it's quantitative, quantitatively uh, being tracked and so forth with, with uh, outcomes and certain uh, whatever the metrics are, right? So, I mean, you're promoted certain trading apps, you're promoted all sorts of things which previously were highly regulated in different jurisdictions, but you have no idea and people are putting their money into um, not just uh, bashing crypto or anything. I mean, they're legit crypto stuff too, but there's all sorts of other things as well. So basically, it's totally like a chaos, like, uh, like an, uh, you know, out there. So, I mean, to deal with it uh, now, in terms of the other idea, I mean, I know stoicism may be your philosophy and that's good, but I'm not sure if you're going to convince everyone that the solution to this is for them to give up thinking about anything and just, you know, focus on stoicism. So that's just my idea. Thank you. Yes, uh, I'll respond that I did not say that stoicism is the solution. It's just one of them. Just one. You talked about uh, achievement society. We want to achieve achievement society. We want to achieve achievement society. Humans are always trying to achieve achievement society. We want 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 to achieve Thank you. Okay, so basically, I believe Seneca said this, that knowing yourself is the beginning of wisdom. So my answer would be that uh, you have to spend a lot of time, you have to spend a lot of time on your own, and you have to work on your own, and you have to work on your own, and if you know yourself, this is the beginning of wisdom. So when you know yourself, you know that you are where you are, and you have to run these calculations in your, in your mind and in your brain to tell you exactly what you have to do, when you have to do it, and what are the steps required to, what is realistically, what realistically can you achieve? And I'll, I'll, I'll explain it to you that 
uh, I'm not very successful, but I'm successful enough where I can say that I've achieved the top level that you can achieve on a freelancing platform. I basically achieved it as a consequence of wanting to... Uh, Basically, it was altruism that I wanted to help the people that are contacting me and I could feel their pain and I could basically, I wanted to help them. As a consequence of that, I became, I, I, I became uh, like top, top level in, on that freelancing platform. But what I'd say is, is that your wisdom will tell you realistically what you can do and what you can do, whereas other people are going to tell you, no, this is the best for you, even though they do not know what's the best in you. So that's my response to that. So yeah, my uh, actually my point is I would like to differ with your thesis or whatever you're saying, you know, that uh, we need to get ourselves trained. You know why? You know, the social media actually, inherently, they are the copy of the society, right? We are trying to imitate the social settings on a platform or on the media, right? So... As we live in the society, generally, we don't get training for a lot of things. We just learn from the others. It's the mass behavior we learn from others, right? So basically, the social media, when you are present on any platform, you try to learn from others' behavior. Now, it depends which society you live, what is your circle, you know. So you try to copy their things. You said rightly a few points, like, you know, you see others and then you try to do things like, you know, the competition with your friends and everything. That's that's okay. But the society, like, for instance, the, the our society, you know, is basically entertainment-hungry society. People not have a lot of opportunity to have entertainment. So they go on the social media to have some sort of entertainment. Now, that can be, you know, mocking others as well, but, you know, you try to entertain yourself. So they don't need training for that, you know. They have to see others, what they are doing, and they learn, and they try to copy that. In that sense, my point is that you learn from others, so you have to train the whole society, because the social media basically is the imitation of the society. If the people are like that, if I am, suppose, doing something bad, I would try to copy myself on the social media same way. So in that sense, I think it is the mass behavior people learn from others and they would continue to do that. And also your most of the points are from the platform's perspective. You didn't touch much about the, you know, user's perspective as there are audience theories, you know, they deal with the how audience, what they try to do with the social media. Of course, the platforms are trying to gather the data and they are trying to sell us things. They are meant for that. It's a business, of course. They are not doing charity, right? But now... Uh, how the users are using it and what they should be doing with it that's a that's a kind of a big debate I would say but okay that you touch some of the points but we can go m into more details to understand what users are doing with the social media in a particular society that's my point thank you uh, yes uh, I've got no response for that basically uh, I, um, what I can say is is that your correct user behavior does matter but what I can say from experience is that people, if they have the tendency to be evil, they're going to be more evil on social media than they are in real life. Because in real life, if you do certain things, you might get, uh, it might actually end up in violence. Whereas on social media, media, you can get away with a lot of things. So as far as I can tell on social media, yeah, you can be anonymous as well. So people can basically get away with doing things which are uh, which uh, which you, they otherwise wouldn't do in a normal social setting sorry well, um just wanted to add that you so obviously i wasn't criticizing stoicism that that you're that that's perfectly fine but just was saying that it wasn't uh, a, a general solution right type of thing probably but then we don't have any solutions anyway so um I just wanted to point out also that it's a cultural thing as well because in different places so in for example here um um, well, there's the image issue and all that is there, but uh, certain societies, it reflects how they speak about, for example, like last week there was uh, here, you know, the cricket match and all that the kind of stuff. So that gets to all the media and everything, like people are commenting what someone is, um, like maybe someone took a shot of what a certain player was eating afterwards or whatever, that instead of playing, they were focusing on they're eating this, they're doing that. I mean, conducting normal stuff that 
a person would do uh, over a course of 24 hours, right? That, but it just like reflects and then people keep on going about it on and on and on and on and that spreads. So it's also um, like societal, like, um, you know, it spreads to society as well and reflects how people, I mean, some of it is general to, for example, Pakistan or Asian societies that people comment about other people and they're always focusing on their personal stuff, how they are presenting, what they're wearing, what they're looking like, whatever, and they're, they're eating this and they're doing this and they're doing that, and that is reflected on social media and now in regular mainstream media as well after that. Thanks. Again, a very uh, great session. I will definitely recommend it to my classmates and definitely younger siblings. I just want to ask uh, one question that uh, as uh, you say you are a, a game designer and so you will have an opportunity to most of the time stay in touch in real world. Uh, underneath maybe things are very messed up but you have to be mentally present to develop the apps and um, any project you are working on so my question is uh, you uh, talk about training so uh, you will not believe I uh, tell you that uh, we start training how to use social media I and my friend but his mentor were different and my mentor were different so his mentor tell uh, him to block me and my mentor tell me to block him so as the brother also said Ariel that the majority is going in a flow like they are just following with every day what is uh, showing on screen so when you put a filter on uh, the training filter like just like if we are learning something then we will go toward isolation because we will have to cut from many people they can be close friends and relatives bhi. क्योंकि आप डिसएग्रीमेंट आ जाती है ना आपकी सोशल मीडिया से मैं डिसएग्री करता हूं इस मामले में जैसे आपने ये तो कहा कि पॉजिटिव इसका एस्पेक्ट तो है कि जैसे एंसेस्टर्स ने इसलिए प्रोग्रेस किया क्योंकि अब अपॉर्चुनिटीज काफी आ गई हैं लेकिन आज का सेशन मोस्ट ऑफ द टाइम नेगेटिव इस एस्पेक्ट पे था सोशल मीडिया के किस तरह वो डिस्ट्रक्शन कर रही है लेकिन इस डिस्ट्रक्शन से बचने के लिए मसला ये है कि जब हम ट्रेनिंग करें फिल्टर लगाएं अपने अकाउंट्स में मतलब कुछ लोगों को बात करें किसी से ना करें तो आइसोलेशन में आ जाते हैं क्योंकि आप उनको जब ऑफलाइन नहीं मिलते तो फिर ऑनलाइन नहीं मिलते तो ऑफलाइन भी मिलना छोड़ देते हैं इस तरह तो कोई जिस तरह विन-विन सिचुएशन के के ऐसी ट्रेनिंग का पाथवे लिया जाए के मतलब ये इसमें जो है किस डिस्ट्रक्शन से बचा जाए मतलब समझ पाए जो मैं कहना चाह रहा हूं या समझ पाए हूं कि बेसिकली जो लोग हैं वो पर्सनल लाइफ सोशल मीडिया के अंदर जो है वो वो बेसिकली मिक्स कर देते हैं नहीं क्या अगर कोई पर्सनल अगर कोई सोशल मीडिया पे प्रॉब्लम हो जाएगी पर्सनल लाइफ में हो जाएगी ये बात है आ, मैं ये कहूँगा कि कोशिश करें कि इसको कंपार्टमेंटलाइज करें सोशल मीडिया शुड नॉट बी लाइक कनेक्टेड टू योर पर्सनल लाइफ इन लाइक इट शुड बी इफ समबडी ब्लॉक दे आर पीपल हु आई हैड हु हैड टू ब्लॉक ऑन सोशल मीडिया राइट एंड दे आर स्टिल फ्रेंड्स विद मी वो बात नहीं है मैंने उनको कहा था लेकिन मैं कहा था कि मैं तुम्हें सोशल मैंने कहने से पहले अब सोशल मीडिया पे ब्लॉक करूँ कुछ ऐसी चीज़ें तुम करो मुझे नहीं अच्छी लगनी लेकिन मैं कंपार्टमेंटलाइज करता हूँ कि हम फिर भी दोस्त रहेंगे इट इज पॉसिबल इट डिपेंड्स ऑन हाउ द अदर पर्सन इज लाइक इफ द अदर पर्सन स्टॉप टॉकिंग टू यू बिकॉज यू ब्लॉक दम ऑन सोशल मीडिया दैन देर द रॉन्ग पर्सन Uh, the, the wrong person bad is me here ke on social media if you're doing things let's suppose you have got um, friends that are poor and they are added to you on social media uh, think about this thing that if you are posting uh, pictures of yourself on on social media what would they feel like you know should i uh, uh, first of all thank you for uh, the fruitful insight uh, Basically, I'm, uh, you know, a bit dis- respectfully, I disagree regarding the idea of prisoner, you know, as you have mentioned in your session, uh, the relationship between producer and consumer, you know. So, uh, it seems to me like uh, companies are identifying a consumer problem, you know, and they are uh, providing quality service as well, like being an entrepreneur, uh, w- when we are like trying to, uh, you know, like... Uh, 
provide services regarding the product or service aid. It's, uh, so we are like uh, researching things and then we come up, you know, with a quality product, quality service, you know. So it seems to me like the idea is about, you know, uh, identifying the consumer problem and then uh, with respect to his, his or her free will, you know. They, they have choice and later on they, you know, they buy or have a uh, product or not. So in this context, how you respond the question of free will, you know, because uh, what uh, we are like facilitating them, but they have choice. So how you see, how you can say like it's a prisoner, it seems to me like we are, we are like more radicalizing things. Uh, first of all, I said in the positive, positive, uh, the positive things I said about social media. I said if you think that somebody has a pro has a, has a problem, sell them that solution after identifying them. I already covered that. The the I said that what's negative is that sometimes people end up buying things which they do not require, as that demand is created for them because of the different tactics that that some companies use. I don't, not all of them use it. Not all, the, not all of them use it. Uh, some companies, like let's suppose that there is a there there is a person who's interested in starting up a st starting a business, you can actually approach them, talk to them, and consult. But there are certain products which uh, they probably might not require, and they end up buying them because they're feeling desperate. Product of all influences, right? And. Uh in our society, it's about shared values and, you know, uh, in this realm, like, we are contributing to the shared consciousness by mankind. And uh, in the era of mobile sociology, as we are, like, we are living in the era of mobile sociology. So, in this context, like, it's, again, uh, the same and relevant because... Uh, if like in physical realm, in physical physically, uh, like we are interacting with each other, so we are discussing either ideas, uh, or either like business ideas, or uh, you know like buying, selling, you know, uh, kind of things. So again, it's isn't it relevant uh, in this context? Believe that some, do you believe that some people uh, manipulate other people in, into in under, other other? Un do you think that there are certain people that manipulate other people into buying products? Uh, like politically, yes. I was talking about those. But again, like there is consumer choice and you know. It, a person that is being manipulated, it doesn't really know that they're being manipulated. Most of the time. I mean, you see that, that uh, sometimes people are manipulated into committing murder. You have mostly talked about commercial aspects, how uh, social media is being exploited by the uh, uh, consumer product sellers or, uh, uh, you know, it's a sort of a business kind of a, a perspective. Uh, but you haven't talked anything about the political misuse of uh, uh, social media disinformation uh, spreading of uh, hatred uh, through misinformation like uh, disinformation like uh, uh, posting uh, pictures which are not even real they are photoshopped and spreading a lot of hatred P people like you said people need training people are not trained to segregate uh, the re the reality uh, from uh, lies, you know, from the truth from the lies. They, they would believe anything which they see. Uh, a lot of uh, concoded material is on the social media. And uh, if I, I believe that uh, in particular in our society, not in the, not in the developed, uh, maybe the, in the first world it's mostly commercial exploitation. But uh, in our society there's a lot of political exploitation like uh, uh, they make people's minds, they inject ideas in their minds, and they make them believe what they yeah. what they want to. Yeah, yeah I did say that uh, one of the currencies, or one of the products that are sold is idea. I did say that Dr driving a narrative and and 
uh, they're basically uh, it's not necessarily a product it's sometimes it's sometimes an idea sometimes it's motivation yeah uh, yes you did you did mention but I thought that uh, it needed a little bit more elaboration uh, like your emphasis was more on the uh, business uh, yes. aspect not the political because uh, a lot of hatred I mean pr practically hate sells world societies are polarized world has is being yeah. polarized by creating such a hatred among the group of people among the among the uh, the uh, uh, the believers of various uh, faiths and all that uh, uh, followers of various political ideas mm -hmm. a lot of uh, 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 this uh, hatred is uh, being uh, mm -hmm. generated on the social media yes. that's the I, I think that's a very big problem it needed a little bit more uh, 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 focus from you the reason why because of the uh, psychology part of hate and love so since uh, th this is this is like we could have gone into a lot of detail then I could not tell how it systematically is destroying people's lives the the thing is that uh, yes it is true an idea once sold can create divisions that is true but I was more on how they basically systematically destroy your life how they do it and they can, I had to talk about the technical aspect of what they do and how they will be able to use that information and to see how you behave and then sell that idea to you. Basically, if people can understand that if they are, uh, their behavior is being monitored and, and then an idea can be sold well. And I also stated that people drop the idea when, when, they, when, they, when they know that it's not going to sell well. This includes, of course, political ideas and ideologies and stuff. So... That it includes that. Yes, I did not cover it in a lot of detail, but I generally wanted people to know how they can be potentially be used to used by social media companies in various ways, systematically. So that was the thing. And I apologize for not covering this. I think I should have, but yeah. I feel like you talked about the whole selling um, products and stuff really well and manipulating emotions and all that. Um, I want to know a bit more about stoicism because you say um, you've practiced it yourself, right? And you talked about how um, it's basically about practicing to numb excitement, right? Does that also include like numbing other emotions or just certain like and excitement. stoicism is not about numbing emotions it's about the four stoic uh, four stoic virtues which is wisdom courage temperance and justice uh, this is these are the four stoic virtues and it does not say that a person is emotionless it does not tell a person to be emotionless it's just that it's stoicism is about controlling your mind and and uh, Every situation that you that you that occurs in your life is an opportunity to respond. That's what it basically is. It's I've already spoken about this in other lectures, and you can watch it on the official uh, Black Hole channel on YouTube. But it's not about killing emotions. It's not like that. That's Buddhism. People confuse it with that. Buddhism is that. So like. So you would say that empathy and like uh, sympathy and empathy and all that you still would feel that and you're yes, still yes, human and you're, yes, you have emotions yes, and all that. Yes. Okay. Sto sto people think that stoicism makes a person a robot. That's not true. That's yeah. Buddhism. Yeah, exactly. Because I've also confused it myself. Yeah, cause that's especially Buddhism. on social media, they do yeah. confuse it. Yeah, the, a lot that's too. Buddhism. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Um, I would say just a question because when I, I have not attended the previous talks about stoicism, but saying that there's a psychology link bhi hai kyunke, like, um, you know, a personality different hoti hai, some people are able to uh, practice uh, Buddhism or, or stoicism or different aspects of it depending on unki passive personality hai ya kis ki hai ya, okay, you can call it control over mind, whatever. But like in everyone is not the same. Some people are impulsive, uh, koi sociable zada hote hain, koi isolationist hote hain and all that. So just, just a question, I don't know if you want to answer it right now, but uh, do you think stoicism is uh, widely ex uh, applicable or, or is just that your perspective and you just wanted to share that? Thanks. It uh, stoicism is basically a 
is basically the art of knowing how to balance oneself. Taoism is also, I believe that Taoism is actually more applicable to the, to, to the entire world, not Stoicism. Stoicism is something I practice. Taoism is actually uh, the philosophy that I believe can be applied, uh, like most people can practice Taoism, but not Stoicism. Uh, I want to ask, like you said, that we need to train uh, for social media in order to use it for, like, uh, for our benefits and for uh, to know how how we use it and how can we uh, avoid getting the our data to those companies in a very open way. But the thing is that nowadays, this uh, the children, even they are on social media and their lives are being controlled by social media. Uh, our generation, we came on social media pretty, pretty late when it got popular in, I guess, I guess 2016, 2014. Uh, uh, it got it, it uh, started in 2010, yeah, but like uh, our generation, yeah. we got on social media pretty late, yeah. like 2014, 2015. Yeah. But nowadays, even the small children, they like yeah. uh, five years, six years old, yeah. they are on social media and mm -hmm. their lives are being controlled by yeah. social media. So how can you advise parents uh, to like train their children and their supervision, so, uh, supervise their uh, activities because when supervise their activities, yeah, uh, because like supervise their activities. That that is the that no, is the but answer. but the thing is that even when parents supervise them, the children are uh, concerned about their privacy. I I don't know if they have any privacy or not, but they're like, uh, don't lo look into our phones, don't look into our social media accounts. They are concerned about their own privacy, yeah. and even if they don't have any such thing. Yeah. So how can they? How can parents even? train their children when they're not even letting them to? Well, first of all, that parents should have a deal. They should be like, I'm going to supervise what I believe is it should be a reward-based kind of a thing. That I'm going to teach you how you're supposed to use social media, what I believe is best for you. I'm going to sit with you and uh, we are going to do things on social media for an hour. And then you can use it for two hours on your own. And uh, I just want to make sure that you don't end up getting yourself harmed. But after you're 18 or whatever age you, you think you, you, you should be independent, then basically at, at that time you can do whatever you want. But um, so, as long as you're in, under my control, I cannot allow you to harm yourself. That, that is not possible. So they should take a stand. And I believe that uh, this is necessary because discipline, uh, you have to discipline children. Otherwise, they become a problem not for themselves. They become a problem for other people that are around them, and that—that's basically the problem. That you have to, because then if they'll ma make a wo the world a more miserable place. They'll make it bad for other people that are around them. So ज़ेन में भी ख़याल आता भी आपकी गुफ्त को सुनकर आए और इतनी अच्छी डिस्कशन से करीबन हर प्रोडक्ट का कोई ना कोई मैनुअल होता है कि कैसे उसको यूज़ करना है कई प्रोडक्ट्स ऐसी हैं जिनके बारे में लिखा होता है ये सेज ग्रुप के लिए इसके लिए इसके लिए इंटरनेट इन जनरल और सोशल मीडिया इन पर्टिकुलर इसका कोई मैनुअल नहीं है इट इज़ ओपन फॉर ऑल फॉर ऑल एज ग्रुप्स ईज ऑफ एक्सेस ईज ऑफ एक्सेस हर तरह की वनरेबिलिटी है जो बड़ी एज के अफराद हैं वो जब यूज़ करते हैं और अमूमन ऐसा होता है कि वो एक जनरेशन गैप आया हुआ होता है वो तनहाई का शिकार होते हैं तो उनको एक अच्छा एक मौका मिल जाता है कि चलें वो दुनिया के साथ कनेक्ट हैं वो आइसोलेटेड फील नहीं कर रहे मगर वो भी वनरेबल होती हैं जो भी इन्फॉर्मेशन उनको नज़र आती है नो मैटर कितनी वो गलत है वो उसको दुरुस्त समझते हैं क्योंकि उनके लिए वो नया मीडियम है एवरी थिंग डेट कम्स ऑन व्हाट्सएप और ऑन फेसबुक इज सपोज टू बी करेक्ट फॉर उनके वर्ल्ड व्यू में अच्छा लाइक वाइज दूसरा पहलू जो मेरे जहन में आता है वो ये कि जब आपकी डिपेंडेंसी किसी चीज़ पे बढ़ती जाती है तो फिर आप ज़ाहिर है उसके जिस तरह आपने प्रिजनर कहा वो होता क्या अगर हमारे समाज में ख़ास तौर पर आज़ादी इजहार होती इख्तलाफ राय की उसको भी कबूल किया जा रहा होता तो फिर हमें ऑनलाइन जा कर ना अपनी चीज़ों का अपना इजहार ख्याल ना करना पड़ता एक पहलू दूसरा ये कि दाएँ जानब जो मेरे तशरीफ़ फरमाए उन्होंने भी पॉलिटिकल हवाले से गुफ्तु की आप देख रहे हैं कि हमारे यहाँ जो पॉलिटिकल कैंपेन्स हैं वो वही सोशल मीडिया के थ्रू थ्रू हो रही हैं 
انفرادی سادہ بھی سوشل وہ پیجز بنے ہوئے ہیں جن کو پوری پوری ٹیمس چلا رہی ہیں وہ ایک وہ سوشل میڈیا انفلوئنسرز بن چکے ہیں ایگزیکٹلی اور جو سیاسی جماعتیں ہیں وہ تو ظاہر ہے پورا ڈپینڈ نہیں اس کے اوپر کر رہی ہیں میں نام نہیں لیتا ہوں لیکن ہمارے ہاں ریسنٹ ایئرز میں ایک سیاسی جماعت اس معاملے میں اس نے سب کے نمبر لیکن دیکھیں جب وہ یہاں اور اس کے اندر بھی آپ دیکھ لیں کہ پابندیاں بھی لگ رہی ہیں ہمارا نیٹ اچانک بند ہو جاتا ہے یا ٹویٹر بین ہو جاتا ہے تو یہ جو جو ڈپینڈنسی بڑھ رہی ہے اس کو اگر دور کرنا ہے یا اس سسٹمک خام کو کم کرنا ہے تو اس کے لیے ضروری ہوگا کہ دوسرے جو دروازے ہیں وہ کھولے جائیں تاکہ آپ ایک ہی دروازے کی طرف نہ جائیں اپنی گھٹن سے نکلنے کے لیے آپ صرف سوشل میڈیا کی طرف نہ دیکھیں بلکہ یہاں پہ ہمارے سماج میں اور گھٹن دور کرنے کے لیے بھی کھڑکیاں دروازے کھلے ہوئے ہوں بس میں یہ بات یہ نا کہ آپ کے آپ جو دروازوں کی بات کیا ہونی چاہیے لیکن وہ وہ ہارڈ موڈ ہے میڈیم موڈ ہے سوشل میڈیا ایزی ہے کہ آپ بیڈ کے اندر ہیں تو آپ پھر بھی لوگ اس سے انٹریکٹ کریں میسیجز کریں آپ کو میسیجز کے رپلائی آ رہے ہیں کامنٹس آ رہی ہیں شیئرز ہو رہے ہیں تو یو نو یو آر گیٹنگ دیٹ سیٹسفیکشن دیٹ یو آر امپورٹنٹ اور جہاں تک یہ بات سچ ہے کہ مجھے ایکچولی کیونکہ یہ تھا سسٹمیٹک ہارم آف سوشل میڈیا ٹھیک ہے میں نے یہ بیسکلی یہ کور کرنا تھا کہ جو یہ کوئی بھی کوپریشن کوئی بھی آرگنائزیشن جو ہے وہ آپ کی ڈیٹا یوز آپ کے اگینسٹ کیسے کرتی ہے اگر انسان اس چیز کو سمجھ جائے تو وہ سمجھ جائے گا کہ کیسے ہوتا ہے اور میں یہ میں نہیں کہہ رہا کہ ایوری تھنگ آن سوشل میڈیا از بیڈ نیور سیٹ دیٹ اف یو آر سیلنگ اے سولیوشن لائک بلیک ہول از آن سوشل میڈیا رائٹ دے آر ناٹ ہارمنگ اینی بڈی لائک دا آل آف آل آف دیم آل آف دیم آر انفارمیٹو بٹ اف یو اف یو آر ڈائریکٹلی ٹارگیٹنگ پیپل لیٹ سپوز who have been through a horrible situation in their life and you are selling them a solution which is probably what they do not require which is which is something that has that is designed for mass markets not 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 the tailored product how you are you how, how, how are you so sure that you're helping them you know تو یہ بات اور یہ بات سچ ہے کہ یوزرس کو بھی آف کورس دھیان رکھنا چاہیے بٹ اگر یوزر مینیپولیٹڈ ہے ویسے مزریبل ہے اس کو کیا پتا ہوگا کہ وہ جو چیز کر رہا ہے وہ صحیح ہے غلط ہے میں جی ضرور میں ایک بات کر کے میں میں آفاق کے جو انہوں نے پوائنٹ ریز کیا اس کو تھوڑا سا اور الابریٹ کروں گا کہ ان کا مطلب یہ ہے کہ یہاں پر ویسے بھی تفریح ایک اور ہمارے دوست نے بھی اس پہ پوائنٹ آؤٹ کیا کہ یہ ایک ریکریشن اسٹاف سوسائٹی ہے اور یہاں پر ظاہر سی بات ہے نہ پلے گراؤنڈز ہیں نہ ینگسٹرس کے کلبز ہیں نہ اس طرح کی چیزیں ہیں کہ دوسری ریکریشن کے سورسز نہیں ہیں تو ظاہر سی بات ہے ورلڈ انڈل میں نے اور آپ نے بھی دیکھا ہوگا فرسٹ ورلڈ میں لوگ ہیں ایڈکٹ اس کے لیکن اس حد تک نہیں ہے جتنے یہاں پر ہو گئے ہیں ایک یہ بات دوسری ایک تو یہ میں اس کے اس اس پوائنٹ کو وہ کر رہا تھا اور دوسری بات میں آپ کی بات سمجھ سمجھ گیا ہوں کہ آپ یہ بتا رہے تھے کہ ان کا ماڈرز اپرنٹی کیا ہوتا ہے اس کے بعد وہ جیسے چاہے چاہے پولیٹیکلی چاہے کمرشلی آپ کو جو ہے وہ کر سکتے ہیں مینیپولیٹ کر سکتے ہیں تو آپ کا یہاں پہ جو فوکس تھا وہ ان کا جو وے آف وے آف وے آف وے آف بیسکلی ان کا جو میتھڈ ہے آف آف بیسکلی میکنگ یو ڈو تھنگس دا فیکٹ از کہ آئی ایم پرابلی آئی وانٹ ویری کلیئر اباؤٹ اٹ آئی تھنک آئی ریپیٹڈ ان ملٹیپل ٹائمس کہ آئیڈیا اینڈ موٹیویشن آر ون آف دا پروڈکٹس آر بینگ سولڈ آئی ریپیٹڈ دس تھرائس ایکچولی آئی ریپیٹڈ دس تھرائس کہ آئیڈیا اور موٹیویشن سیل کی جاتی ہے آئیڈیالوجی سیل کی جاتی ہے ہاں یہ یہ بیسکلی میں نہیں کہا تھا لیکن لیکن دا فیکٹ از کہ وین وین یو آر اسپیکنگ رائٹ تو اس کے اندر یہ ہوتا ہے کہ آپ ایک اس کے ساتھ اسٹرکچر کے ساتھ آتے ہیں اور میں کیونکہ آئی ٹی کے اندر ہوں تو میں نے آئی ٹی کے حوالے سے زیادہ بات کیا تھا کیونکہ اگر کوئی مجھے ایسا سوال پوچھے جو کہ فرض کریں کہ سائیکالوجی سے ریلیٹڈ ہے وہ میں نہیں آنسر کر سکوں گا مجھے کوئی ہیٹ کی میک ہاؤ ہیٹ ورکس وہ مجھ سے کوئی سوال پوچھے شاید میں کلینیکل سائیکالوجسٹ کی طرح نہیں جواب دے سکوں گا تو آئی ٹی سے آئی ٹی کے اندر ہوں میں تو اس کی وجہ سے میں یہ بتا سکتا ہوں کہ کمپنیز کیا کرتی ہیں فرام مائی ایکسپیرینس جو جس بندہ جس چیز کا ایکسپرٹ ہوتا ہے اس کی بارے میں بات کر سکتا ہے تو آئیڈیا کا جب میں نے کہہ دیا آئیڈیالوجی کا کہہ دیا موٹیویشن کا کہہ دیا میں ان فیکٹ یہ آپ کی مزری پہ پرے کرتے ہیں آپ کی ولنربلٹیز پہ پرے کرتے ہیں اس کے بعد آپ کو پروڈکٹ سیل کرتے ہیں پروڈکٹ آئیڈیا بھی ہو سکتا ہے نا تو یہ تو میں نے بات کہہ دی تھی تین دفعہ آئی تھنک میں نے اس ٹاک میں یہ بات کی ہے کہ اور کرنسیز بھی ڈفرنٹ ہوتی ہیں کرنسی صرف پیسے نہیں ہیں نا لائکس کامنٹ شیئرز آپ کی جو دوسرے جو پروڈکٹس ہیں موٹیویشن آئیڈیاز تو یہ باتیں ہیں اس کی یوزفل بھی چیزیں ہوتی ہیں کہ آئیڈیا اچھا یعنی کہ اگر آپ کے پاس کوئی فلاسفی کا چینل
ٹاپک تھا وہ بڑا انٹرسٹنگ تھا اتفاق سے کیونکہ ہم جو بڑا ڈبیٹ ہماری سوسائٹی میں وہ اصل میں نگیٹو اور پازیٹو کانسیکوینسز آف یوزنگ سوشل میڈیا ہے تو آج جو کوشچنس زیادہ آ رہے تھے وہ اس پہ آ رہے تھے حالانکہ آپ کی ٹاک جو ہے وہ ابھی جو آخر میں ہم نے سرکل بیک کیا ہے اس کو بڑا اچھی طریقے سے کہ جی اصل میں آپ بات کرنا چاہ رہے تھے کہ جنہوں نے جو اس کے پیچھے بڑی بڑی کمپنیز ہیں جو کہ بلین اور بلینس ہو گئے ہیں آرگنائزیشن سے فائدہ ہوئے وہ کیسے مینیپولیٹ کرتی ہیں میں آئی ووڈ ریئلی لائک کہ آئندہ کسی ٹاک میں ہم اس پہ پھر آپ سے ایگزامپلس بھی سنیں اور وہ زیادہ انٹرسٹنگ ہوں گے لوگوں کے لیے کہ کون سی کمپنیز کس طرح سے میل پر اس پہ کتابیں لکھی گئی ہیں اوبیسلی دیر آر آلسو موویز ڈیولپڈ آن دوز لیکن پیپل ٹو ایجوکیٹ پیپل ہم یہ اچھا ہوگا کہ ہم اس کو ایگزامپلس کے تھرو تاکہ لوگ ذرا فوکسڈ ہوں کہ یہ بات ہو کس پہ رہی ہے لوگوں نے شاید اس کو کچھ اس طرح سے کیا کہ یہ شاید جو سوشل میڈیا کا ہم یو یوز کرتے ہیں نارملی اس پہ ہم بات کر رہے ہیں لیکن اصل میں اس بگر پکچر اینڈ بگر گیم ایکچولی نا دیکھیں اس کا ہے سسٹمیٹک ہارم آف سوشل میڈیا اس کے اندر یہ نہیں تھا کہ میں ہیٹ یا اس کی بات کروں یہ ہاں بالکل سسٹمیٹک جی بالکل سسٹم یہ سسٹمیٹکلی اپ کو کیسے ڈسٹرائی کرتے ہیں جس مینٹل کیسے کرتے ہیں اس کے اوپر تھی نا بات تو بات اصل میں یہ کہ یہ ڈلیبریٹ تھا کیونکہ اس کے اندر مجھے پتا ہے بیکاز آئی نو میں کلائنٹس کے ساتھ کام کرتا ہوں تو مجھے پتا ہے ان کی سائیکالوجی کیا ہوتی ہے بیسکلی اگر ایف آئی وڈ سے کہ بھائی کہ لو یا ہیٹ یا آئیڈیاز سیل کر رہے ہیں یس لیکن بات یہ کہ آپ کو یہ نہیں پتا ہو کہ سیل کرتے کیسے ہیں یعنی کہ ہاؤ ڈو دے ڈو ایٹ گیدر انف دے گیدر انفارمیشن ہاؤ ڈو دے یوز ایٹ یا تو اس کو پروسیس کیسے کرتے ہیں بیسکلی وہ پروسیس اس طریقے سے کرتے ہیں کہ بہیویئر کو دیکھ رہے ہوتے ہیں اگر آپ کسی پولیٹیکل گروپ سے افیلیٹیڈ ہیں فرض کریں تو آپ کو اس کے زیادہ ایڈز آئیں گے آئیڈیاز آئیڈیاز اس کے آپ سے پچ کیے جائیں گے لوگ جو کہ اس اس گروپ سے ہیں وہ آپ کے پاس آئیں گے تو اس طریقے سے سسٹمیٹکلی وہ آپ کی جو لائف اس کو کنٹرول کرتا ہے اور ڈسٹرائے کرتا ہے کیونکہ کبھی کبھار ایسا ہوتا ہے کہ شاید آپ اتنا ڈیپ اس کے اندر جانے ہی نہیں چاہتے تھے لیکن اگر وہ اگر آپ کو اپرچونیٹی ملے تو وہ پھر آپ اس کے اندر بالکل ہی ڈوب جاتے ہیں تو بس یہ بات ہے وہ وہ بات آپ کی صحیح ہے کہ مجھے شاید یہ اس کے اوپر زیادہ بات کرنی چاہیے تھی لیکن بات یہ کہ آئی ایم ناٹ این ایکسپرٹ ان دی ان دی ان دی ان دا سسٹم اور ہاؤ ہیٹ ورکس اینڈ ہاؤ لو ورکس That is, that is not something I'm an expert in. You get hate and love are sold. Uh, they can sometimes be sold as products as well, but I'm not an expert in that though. One thing that comes to my mind, that will be to affirm your story, that is that some people in social media, some people are addicted to Facebook, or they are connected with it, some are on Twitter, some are on Instagram, some are here and there. اور اب ہم دیکھ رہے ہیں کہ جو ہمارے تین بڑے بنیادی جو پلیٹ فارمز ہیں اف آئی ایم ناٹ رانگ اچھا فیس بک انسٹاگرام اور واٹس ایپ یہ تینوں غالباً ایک ہی کمپنی کے پاس ہیں یس دیٹ ٹرو اب آپ یہاں سے دوسرے کی طرف شفٹ ہوں یا آپ ایک کے بعد دوسرے میں جائیں تو یو وانٹ فائنڈ اینی ڈفرنس کیونکہ پیچھے تو مائنڈ ایک ہی ہے انٹرنیٹ یس اور دوسرا یہ کہ پیچھے کمرشل انٹرسٹ بھی سیم ہی ہے تو آپ کو کوئی چینج نظر نہیں آئے گی بلکہ آپ ایک کے بعد یعنی یہ آپ کی بات کو مزید افارم کرتا ہے کہ آپ ایک سے نکل کے دوسرے میں جا رہے بٹ سسٹم بھی آئے وہ انفارمیشن گیدرنگ ہے نا دیکھیں آپ مجھے خود ہی بتائیں کہ بیسکلی جو پولیٹیکل آئیڈیا وہ سیل کس کو کریں گے وہ کیسے ان کو پتا چلے گا جب تک کہ ان کو یہ نہیں پتا ہوگا اس کا بہیویئر کیا ہے اس کے پیٹرنس کیا ہیں وہ آپریٹ کیسے کرتا ہے شوڈنٹ اٹ ہمیں یہ سوچنا چاہیے کہ ہمیں ہمارے ہاں سوشل میڈیا ان تین چار پانچ پلرس کے گرد نہ گھومیں بلکہ یہاں مزید پلیٹ فارمس ہونے چاہیے ہے تو انٹرنیٹ ہی ہے نا لیکن زیادہ سے زیادہ ہو تاکہ ڈیموکریٹائزیشن بھی ہو اور ایک منوپلائز نہ ہو جائے اور اس طریقے سے مینیپولیشن نہ ہو کچھ اس طریقے کا ہو تو ہی بہتر ہوگا کیونکہ یوز تو کرنا ہی کرنا ہے نا اس کا اس میں یوزیج یہ ہے نا کہ دیکھیں یوزیج یہ ہوتا ہے کہ آپ جو ہیں وہ اگر آپ لائکس یا شیئرس بھی کریں ایسی چیزیں کریں تو آپ کو پتا ہو کہ یہ اگر اگر انفارمیشن کو ملی ہے تو یہ کہاں یوز کر سکتے ہیں کیسے یوز کر سکتے ہیں جیسے آپ کے پاس کوئی ایسی چیز ہے تو آپ کو امیڈیٹلی پتا چل جائے کہ یہ یہ جو ہے یہ کیوں اس طرح یہ میرے پاس کیوں آ رہے ہیں ایڈس کیوں آ رہے ہیں یا یہ آئیڈیاز میرے پاس کیوں آ رہے ہیں یا یہ گروپس مجھے کیوں سجیسٹ ایسی کی جا رہی ہیں تو یہ بات ہے بیسکلی کہ انسان کو دھیان رکھنا چاہیے ان چیزوں پہ since we are going to close ek online question hai mohammad alias hai mere samne screen nahi hai magar wo keh rahe hain ke koi strategy bataye ki hum is hum use to kare social media lekin hum uske nuksan se kuch bach sake to ye to mera khayal hai behavioral ha wo basically h
ہاں بیسکلی وہ یہ ہے کہ آپ جب سوشل میڈیا یوز کرتے ہیں آپ کو بس یہ چیزیں بی اویئر دیٹ دے آر گیدرنگ انفارمیشن اباؤٹ یو دے کین یوز اٹ ایٹ اینی ٹائم اگینسٹ یو اور اگر آپ کسی خاص آئیڈیا کو فالو کریں تو اس آئیڈیا کے بارے میں آپ کو زیادہ چیزیں دی جائیں گی یعنی کہ زیادہ اس ریلیونٹ اینڈ سم آف دا تھنگس دیٹ آر بینگ پرزینٹیڈ ٹو یو ڈو ناٹ نیڈ ٹو کنزیوم دم دے آر سم ٹائمز گوئنگ ٹو ویسٹ یور ٹائم اینڈ ادر تھنگ اباؤٹ سوشل میڈیا از لائک یو سر اٹس آلسو انٹرٹینمنٹ رائٹ ویل یس اٹ از انٹرٹینمنٹ اٹ ڈیزائن ٹو انٹرٹین یو ٹو کیپ یو آن اٹ فار لانگر ٹائم سو ایونچولی سسٹمیٹکلی ہوپ فلی ہیلپ یو بٹ اٹ کین آلسو سسٹمیٹکلی ڈسٹرائی یو بیکاز they when the longer you spend at a location the more they know about you they're observing you observing each and everything that you do and uh, that's the thing chale ek clarification hey how does it mic mic you know just just yeah ke uh, of course um, wo یہ نہیں یہ نہیں مینیپولیشن یہ سب کچھ ہے کافی ڈیفیکلٹ ہے ان کی جو ٹرمز اینڈ کنڈیشنس ہوتی ہیں ان کو اگر آپ پوری طرح فالو کریں فیس بک کی گول کی جو بھی ہے لیکن یہ آئی مین جسٹ فار دا ریکڈ آئی گیس یہ کمپنیز یہ ڈو دے ڈو اسٹیٹ دیٹ وہ جو ہیں دے آر جسٹ اے پلیٹ فارم کہ وہ خود کچھ نہیں کرتے دے آر جسٹ اے پلیٹ فارم جو دوسرے یوز کرتے ہیں اور وہ اس کو ان کو ایڈ اسپیس بیچتے ہیں وٹ ایور دے سیل دم سو ان کی اپنی اب اس میں کتنی اسکروٹنی ہونی چاہیے کتنی اسکروٹنی نہیں ہونی چاہیے آل دیٹ از از اے ڈفرینٹ ڈسکشن بٹ یہ یہ نہیں آن آن ریکڈ ان کا یہی اسٹینس ہوتا ہے کہ دس از اے پلیٹ فارم اٹس جسٹ این انیبلنگ پلیٹ فارم وی ٹیک نو اسٹینس وی ڈو نو مینیپولیشن وی ڈو ناتھنگ وی جسٹ ہم صرف ایک پلیٹ فارم ہے جہاں پہ دوسرے آ کے اپنا اسپیس جو ہے وہ بائی کرتے ہیں Uh, actually, they will never say that they facilitate. The, no company will ever say that. It's time to call it a day. Thank you very much. It was a very good discussion. All of you are involved in the beach. Every one of your experience is. And we will take a look at it. I hope that we will do all of you. And at least we will do all of our behavioral changes. ہم راغب ہوں اور ایڈکشن سے بھی بچیں اور ذہن کھول کر چیزوں کو استعمال کریں اور جو صرف سوشل میڈیا کے لیے نہیں ہے کریٹیکل ریزننگ جو ہے وہ زندگی کے ہر پہلو میں میرے خیال ضروری ہے اپنی ویل بینگ کو مد نظر رکھنا چاہیے چلیں تھینک یو آتش